Right now, our state leaders are working to reduce the stigma associated with mental illness, substance abuse disorders, and to encourage discussion of issues related to suicide. In fact, Governor Ron DeSantis proclaimed today, February 27th, 2020, as Florida Suicide Prevention Day. In 2018 alone, more than 3,500 Floridians lost their lives to suicide, making it the eighth leading cause of death in the state. And suicide rates in counties across the First Coast are higher than the state average, and they've been rising for the last three years. Joining us now is Dr. Christine Caulfield, who is the CEO of LSF Health Systems, to take a deeper look at this troubling problem and how we can combat it. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. With Governor DeSantis proclaiming it National Suicide Prevention Day, is that the first time somebody of his um, stature in the state of Florida has brought such light to such a topic? It, it really is. And uh, we're very proud to be working hand in hand with Governor DeSantis and his wife, the First Lady. Uh, this is frankly one of her main missions, if you will, is to really get the word out raise awareness of this very serious topic. So, yes, we have great leaders in our state that are taking this very, very seriously. When we hear that suicide rates are rising, not just in this country, but also in our state, and particularly in our counties, yes. what is driving that, Dr. Caulfield? You know, what uh, the research is showing is that our seniors are driving those high numbers. Senior um, citizens we're talking senior about. Senior citizens, veterans, uh, in fact, the largest cohort and the fastest growing for completed suicides, suicides are males aged 75 to 85. You know, we hear a lot about veterans committing suicide. Lately, we've been hearing an unfortunate trend of middle-aged white men yes. committing suicide. I don't think we've shed a light on senior citizens, though. Exactly. What is causing those deaths? You know, we, we do a lot of data drilling at LSF Health Systems. And what we found is that the social isolation, recent deaths, loss of loved ones, pets, loss of pets, uh, just feeling hopeless and helpless, uh, combined with if there are firearms in the home, uh, that's a deadly combination, including alcohol and drugs, and you have a very fatal situation. We have some questions that you have provided to us that if you believe that somebody in your life is isolated, is sad. There are some questions that you think you should be asking people. A lot of people think, well, if I know somebody may be considering suicide, I don't want to probe because it may compel them to, but that's the exact opposite. You're absolutely right. That's a myth. In fact, if you have any concerns whatsoever, you need to ask the questions. How are, your, how are you coping? I'm worried about you. Uh, you seem distant. You seem down. Are you thinking about harming yourself? Do you have a means to do that? Are there firearms or other means that you're thinking about? And what do you find when you ask people who may be suicidal, when you ask them these questions, how do they typically respond? You know, with relief. At LSF Health Systems, we find people reporting that, wow, somebody has noticed me, somebody has seen my pain, and they're offering help, they're offering support, and I feel not so alone anymore. If somebody is watching this and perhaps they're thinking about suicide, yes. what words do you have for them? Hang on. Don't do anything rash. Seek help and support. At LSF Health Systems, we have a 1877 hotline that is manned 24 7, and there's somebody on the other end that can help. Don't Just give up. Out. Just reach out. We have run out of time, but I think it's very important to mention that Florida has been for many, many years at the bottom in terms of funding for mental health resources. Is that going to improve anytime soon? We're very hopeful that it will. Uh, again, with the First Lady making mental health a top priority uh, for herself and for our communities, we're really hopeful that there will be some new funding coming coming in this session. Well, we're so glad you're here. Thank you for illuminating um, some light on this. And if you would like, uh, LSF Health Systems works with several partner organizations that can provide help for people in danger of suicide. If you have concerns, call this crisis line. It's 877-229-9098 or visit them online, lsfnet.org.